guys welcome back to another video and this is on my Honeywell Galaxy 16 so I got this from Ben Libeta also known as Everything Ben I'll put his link put a link to his channel in the subscription he's got really good content for all sort of alarms enthusiasts and also home entertainment and a few other things and I recommend his channel it's good uh, yeah so I got he gave me this uh, one of the keypads that one there actually wired in and he also gave me this and an old case for what i'll show you the size of this this is an electronic line 3000 i think i oh, know model micro x it's a dual tech i believe it's the same company that make those quest pirs so i'll just show you the uh, label so it's a demco microsac but it's all honeywell galaxy at the end of the day and i so what's wired into it that's and those aren't working well, they are working. It's just unprogrammed them properly yet. And uh, then we've got a. I don't know if you can see it under there. Loudspeaker. It's one of those night ones because they sound really bassy and cool. Especially on Galaxy systems. So I'll just quickly wire it up. I'll quickly wire it up. I'll quickly um, power it up. Let me just uh, put you down it. <clears throat> so I've got to go over to the other side of the garage. There we go. Well, just... There we go. So it's in now. The reason why I've got my phone torch on is because of the backlight. I haven't figured out how to turn the backlight yet. <coughs> oh yeah, and excuse me if I cough a lot. I've got uh, one of those. I've, I've had this cough for a while and I've also developed that cold that everyone seems to be getting in the UK. So yeah, so excuse that if I do cop and sneeze and all sorts. So that's it. Right, I'll just uh, do this. Yeah, so it just shows like all the um, all the faults as it were. So we've got cell alarm system lid. That's because the thing the panel lids off. So seven, six, five, and four, and three. System engineer, I don't know why that's, I don't know if that's just saying because I'm logged in as engineer. That's it pretty much. What I'll do is, uh, even though the door contacts don't work, I will... Oops. <laughs> Rip. Uh, I will set the system quickly, so I'll just do press you know, quick sets enabled. I need to figure out how to turn that sound down. <laughs> Quite a bassy system, bassy sounder. So it's kind of. I find it cool how it does like the, it sort of goes into a louder tone when it does do the confirmation beeps. I think it's I think it's mainly because so that people can hear it from outside because of course if you think about it if it was like the same volume as it was just then for the entry exit beeps it would be quite well you wouldn't be able to hear it and you'd be like dunning it out there standing outside the building thinking is it is it set is it not set but yeah anyway I'm waffling a bit too much so to just unset it you just decode and then enter Usually you'd have to, you open your door and it'll start counting down anyway. But no, not in this one, because the door comes like some program probably. Needs to figure out how to program it as well. I'm a bit of a noob when it comes to Galaxy, really. <coughs> yeah. Uh, I'll just quickly show you in the menu. So if we just do the master one. Uh, ace, uh, so then we go, en oh no, enter, I want enter even. Engineer mode. Oh, hang on. That was a bit of a sound. Oops. There we go. That's what I wanted. Enter. And then, so we go into the men menu. So that's omit chime. Oops. Chime zones. I've just knocked my phone. Walk test. I believe. Codes. That's where you can change user codes. Or you can't really like fully change them on there. On, in this menu. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Will you stay still? Yeah. Yeah. Right, hopefully I'll stay still now. 
So we'll do parameters, which is like just anything really. So you got entry exit time, bell time, rearm mode. So that's like different types of mode. Rearm attempt. So say the alarm force alarmed, it would rearm. Um, it would rearm. You can set it to rearm like two or three times, and then it will just. I don't know what happens if it keeps constantly after that read. I think it just keeps going off. It'll just stay going off. Uh, user options, which is like quick set, which I've got enabled already, which is good. And a few other things in there. Uh, reset, um, no, I think that's like engineer reset, really. Bell delay, so say this system went off. And, <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Um, so say the system went off, you can set a delay so the bells and go off straight away when the system goes off. Which I think, I don't really know who would use that really. Unless it's like a confirm, just get give someone a chance to actually check to make sure it's actually a, make sure it's actually an alarm. Uh, make sure, so, check to see if it's a legit alarm before annoying all the neighbours. <laughs> uh, cold start, that's pretty much factory reset really. If you know the code, if not, you have to do the long way around and like link out. You have to short out something on the, on the motherboard. I'm not really sure though. Uh, remote reset, no idea really what that is. Our inversion banner top. So, say that everything was fine on this system and you managed to get out of engineer's mode, it would, it would, uh, what would you say? It would, it would, you could get it to display whatever you want, so like some security for instance, on the top, and then maybe like your number on the bottom because you can change the bottom one as well. Uh, part of time, and then that's it for that. So we'll just go through zones, outputs, log, time, and then that text. Yeah, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much that. Uh, I'll show you the uh, mobile board bottom here. So let me get my phone. So you got all your zones at the bottom there. I've linked them out with the uh, resistors. You got speaker terminals, bell terminals, keypad terminals right over there, and then like all your power, battery, and all that. And loads of resistors and chips and all sorts. There's the that blue thing up there, that little blue dial thing is the volume for the speaker. Yep. I'll quickly show you uh inside this PIR. So I'll just go and um, please go and find my screwdriver. I know where it is. Be a minute. Just put you down. Found my uh, little flathead, which I use for other things. Let me just push that in. Yeah, so it's a bit of an interesting dual tech actually. I don't know how you're going to see that. It's got usually dual techs have three LEDs. This only has two. That the red and the green one, which is very interesting actually. I haven't seen any dual techs. Other than there was a, what was it called, a um, anti-mask PIR that um, Thorn Gamma 6 aka Lumpy Mattress had. That had like a red and a yellow LED which I think is quite cool. Uh, but yeah, this has got red and green. I'm going to power this up at some point to see what it's like. I don't know if I already said this, this is the same person, the other company you make that, Quest PIR. So there you go, you've got your microwave bit up there, power electric text down there, and your terminals. There's the relay, that thing was got a B on it for some reason. Temper switch, that thing sticking up there. Microwave range adjust adjuster. Uh, I think that's it. Pulse count jumpers down there. Standard dual tech really. Most I think all most dual techs are the same anyway. <coughs> yeah. I'll just put that back on. I'm gonna wire yeah, I'm gonna try and wire this up at some point once I've figured out how to program this this panel. So I've got plans for it, and no, I'm not replacing the text on. I've moved the keypad over there, by the way, because it's better over there. Because it kept getting in the way of the lights, light switch. So I've moved it there, it's just the motion sensor. Um, 
but I have got plans and I've still got plans. I'm going to do a few more videos on the advanced when it's with the Apollo stuff before I upgrade it. Well, before I swap it over to a cheeky. Or the device just in there. I can excuse all the spaghetti. Cables everywhere. Yeah, I'm going to try and do a couple more videos and then I'll do a swap over for a cheeky and then, well, whatever happens, happens next. <laughs> I haven't really figured out anything else at the minute. I'm just trying to get Hajiki stuff. So far, I've got smoke detector, multi sensor, heat detector, sound of VAD, uh, and uh, just a vid beacon thing. Just need to get two base sanders, or base sander beacons even, and two cool points. Although, because of COVID and lockdown and all that, uh, the cool points are a bit like gold dust at the minute. <laughs> So I don't know how long it'll take for the Hachiki system to be finished. But I've got, oh, I've also got a zone monitor, so I could ask me just wire stuff up to the zone monitor and use the conventional core points I've got. But yeah. So that's pretty much it. Thanks, Ben, for this panel. Uh, hopefully I'll do some more videos on it once I figure out how to finally program it properly. Yeah, that'll keep up. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.